Hey guys, in today's video, I will be teaching you how to make a bunch of different Halloween treats and desserts and the steps you would take and the things you will need. So let's get into it. You will need chocolate melt sticks and marshmallows. Grab some marshmallows and put it on a plastic plate or any kind of plate that you want. Grab your sticks and begin poking them into the marshmallows. Grab your chocolate melts and put them in the microwave until they are melted. Grab a spoon and begin hovering your chocolate above the marshmallow. I added some M&Ms because I felt like it. It's optional, you can do what you want, honestly. And this is your Marshmallow Mummies. First you will need brownie mix, candy corn pumpkins, Milano cookies, and green frosting. First you just want to follow the recipe of the brownie mix and it's pretty straightforward from there. Then you will want to cut the brownies into little rectangles, but try not to make them too big, just a little bit small. Then you will want to grab your Milano cookies and make sure to break them in half. Next, you're going to make a cut at the top of the brownie and stick the Milano cookie in to act as a tombstone. Next, you're going to grab the green frosting to act as grass and as a glue for the candy corn pumpkin. I decided at the last minute to put frosting in that crack to stick it down better, but you can honestly do whatever you want. You will need any kind of cake mix, frosting, and food dye.
After putting the cake mix into a different bowl, you're going to want to knead it with your hands and make it really crumbly. Next, you are going to add frosting to the crumble cake. Morning, this part is super messy, but you are going to get the cake with all the frosting on it and turn it into a ball and put it on a different pan with parchment paper on it. Sorry, I kind of look possessed right here. I'm like so focused. <laughs> Then, you are going to put them in the fridge overnight. Then, grab your candy melts and melt them in the microwave. If you couldn't tell, I like to dance while the microwave is going. At the last minute again, I decided to use blue and red food coloring to make purple, but you can honestly use any food coloring you want. Next, I used some toothpicks to drag over the cake pops into the melted chocolate. This is the final result. If you guys enjoyed all of these treats and I hope you enjoyed the video, comment down below what you would like me to do next and I'll see you next time.